to the top with uh, clicking and dragging to make sure it's in the vertical line we should look from different views holding shift and clicking on the center part we're going to push this one on the top now we're going to duplicate it and select it and we're going to flip it with the help of the formation and mirror on the z-axis is why we have quickly quickly made uh, the upper and the bottom part so now we're going just to hide this one to make sure everything is aligned perfectly now you have to make sure no let's let's just duplicate this one, duplicate the upper part too and you need to put it on the top I'm holding alt and clicking on the clicking on the mesh to quickly select it uh, so now we have uh, everything as it should be uh, when creating such uh, curve meshes you have to be sure you have to make sure uh, every subtool is in one polygroup so make sure you have that made now we are going to go to the upper subtool and we are going to use merge merge down clicking ok and again clicking ok hopefully this, these two parts are not are not the same color no yeah, they are not great uh, and so we have the first tube made and as we see here we have to we have to align this one a little bit better and again make sure you don't select the first subtool because this one is already created we have to leave it this one alone so we have to just uh, merge these three parts so select the second subtool and again merge down ok and merge down ok so this is it we have two subtools which we can uh, use to create two different uh, curve types in one brush how we do that we are going to open this side and I already have stroke and brush uh, duct uh, in so you select brush and click and drag it and the same for the stroke so you click on the create insert multi mesh because we have two uh, subtools if you would have only one subtool you uh, this this button wouldn't be available so you would have to create insert mesh it's the same thing but with insert multi meshes you can create uh, mesh uh, curved button however you put it uh, with two or more subtools so now we have this brush created and just to uh, check how it works we're going to click on the cylinder and make it a poly mesh so we can uh, draw on it and if we now drag, click and drag, it's going to uh, create uh, this pipe which is already also useful for, for creation 
but we we want this mesh to be used as a curve 